In this video, I'm going to show you one of the latest money plays to come out of the MCS, and that is PA Shot Seams out of the tight offset tight end formation. Now, if you're watching this video and you want to learn in my entire um, New Orleans offensive ebook, make sure that you join the Patreon. It's only $10 to become a member. It's going to get you access to all of our Madden 23 offensive and defensive ebooks, including this New Orleans play. And again, the play is PA Shot Seams, super high level concept right here that we're going to show you. And kind of an emerging concept that came out of the Madden Bowl and really uh, something that I think is going to carry over for Madden seasons to come. And it's basically the concept of big corner and little corner, or essentially using this deep uh, corner route to the triangle receiver as a pull route for an underneath corner route layered underneath it. So um, the setup for this is this is a setup that does require either slot apprentice or hot route master. What we're going to do is we're going to corner out Marquez Valdez Scantling or the left side receiver. We're going to drag the tight end, and then we are going to slant the right side receiver. This is going to kind of combine two really good man being concepts on the back side of this. As well, the other benefit of this play um, is the fact that you're going to really be able to attack a lot of different zone concepts as well as man coverage. And now your, your pull route is actually a really good man beater. Okay. So um, also one last quick tip is you want to make sure to run this with your um, your corner routes to the short to the short side of the field. It's going to make them the most effective. So we're just going to motion snap this guy out. And what you're going to see is against man coverage, pretty much both corner routes should be open to the sideline. Now what you want to do is you just want to freeform down and to the outside on those corner routes. Um, let me do this. Let me go to this coverage real quick, and I'm going to show you how this play works against kind of the Mike Blitz 3 meta or the Mike Blitz, uh, not Mike Blitz 3, but the 3-3 uh, Cub meta. What you're going to notice here is that this corner route to Michael Irvin can sometimes get really glitchy separation over the top. It could potentially be a one-play score. It's a great way to beat man and zone um, in, the same, in the same concept, so it's a very versatile passing play. Now, another thing that you're going to notice here is let's say that they send, you know, maybe send four, right? This is actually becoming fairly popular, the send four. What you'll notice with this play is if their user um, chooses to go help with the corner routes or go help with the drag, then you're going to be able to throw this motion slant right here. This motion slant is probably one of the more consistent ways to attack man coverage on the back side of the formation. You could, if you have Hot Route Master, put this guy on a post and run it like this. But I personally really do think that the motion slant is really the most consistent way to attack man. And then lastly, your tight end route. He can beat man sometimes. He's not the best at beating man, just the way the game plays this year. Uh, but all in all, he's fine. All right. So we're going to be able to really manipulate main coverage relatively well. But what about zone coverage? There's a lot of different things in this play that we can do to attack zone coverage. And really, it starts and ends with this corner route over here on the back side. So what you're going to notice is that this deep outside corner is going to pull those outside zones. And then you can throw that underneath corner route basically underneath all of the deep blues so i want to show you in this replay kind of what's going on and this is why i think this is the kind of a new concept that will carry over for years to come in madden what you're going to notice here is that this concept is basically this you see how this corner is going to take a deep out breaking pattern if this guy is in a third or a quarter this corner route is now going into the grid of the zone defender over here on the left side and so he has to basically respect the fact that this guy can be going to the deep corner route over the top. So you see here, he's basically honing in here, and it leaves this little pocket over in here where we can throw this corner route on the sideline. This is really effective for not only cover four, but it will also be effective for cover three. And we're going to get to cover two in just a second, and we're also going to be uh, talking through match coverage as well. So what you're going to see in cover three here is basically the same thing, a little bit better separation. As you can see, if you just wait on this corner, it's going to get open to the sideline. And really what this does is you should see your opponent go to something like this. I believe that this is probably the best chance to stop the actual corner route. And that is some type of backed off uh, flat you know, cover two style of coverage. Now, what's really important to remember about this cover two style of coverage though, is there are different rules for these deep half defenders. So what you'll see here is I can actually throw this corner route over the top of the cover two defense if they are going into a cover two. So this is one of the best features of this play. Um, a lot of people right now in Madden, they're running these double Mabel 
uh, style zone coverages where they have double flat, where they're taking, you know, both of the underneath or both of the sideline options away. And the beauty of this play right here is that with free form, you can actually throw this hard outside pass lead to the corner and you see that it can actually beat a cover two style of defense. Now I wanna jump into another coverage real quick before we get to match coverage and kind of talk you through what this play looks like against that. And that is the big nickel over G um, kind of cover Tampa three style uh, of coverage. And it basically looks somewhat like this right here. Okay, somewhat like this. And just for illustration purposes, we're gonna, you know, not, we're gonna take the pass rush off just to kind of show the concept. So what you're gonna see now is a little bit of a different type of uh, play. And what you'll notice with this outside third defender is you can still throw this ball to the sideline. Now, if you get matched on by the bird hook, really, I think that's the best way uh, for somebody to stop this. But most people, if they do that, I wanna show you, I wanna jump in this replay and kind of show you what you have. So you can actually throw this literally against any covered shell. And what you'll notice here is this corner, you see how when this defender turns his hips, there's a big time window over here where I can freeform this. Now I also, if you look at this play closely, if this guy's not in a 30 yard cloud flat, then I can throw this typically over the top of that cloud over there, okay? So now the other thing is that vert hook matched. So guess who's wide open over on the backside? Now you're able to throw that or you're able to throw that. And so this play is super hard to defend. Let me, uh, let me show you something else real quick. So we're gonna back these guys off and kind of play a little bit more safer style of this. I do think that this, personally, I think that this play um, or this coverage defends this play the best. But what you'll notice here is as long as you have time in the pocket, you should be able to throw with a high point and free form up and over the top of that outside third defender. So as you can see, they're super, super good concept. So that's how you can kind of utilize that if they ever do that kind of advanced uh, style of adjustment. Now the next coverage that I wanna show you this play against is match coverage. So against match coverage, um, you should still have pretty much everything open. The corner route on the left side is gonna get matched, but it's a different type of match than out a bunch. And it's more so resemblant of a man coverage on the left side. So it's basically like you're playing man coverage to the twin side. If your running back was on the other side of the formation, it would make this a little bit different, but because of where your running back is at, it's gonna basically play almost like man-man, which means that this throw right here can become very dangerous over the top if you have time in the pocket, you can high point and free form that up and over the top of the cover four coverage. And so now they basically get themselves into a position where their user is essentially responsible either for one of the corner routes on the right side, and then you can basically just nickel and dime them over the middle of the field with your motion slant, which is super, super hard to stop this year. Guys, tight offset, tight end is one of the best plays in the game, and it's really because of how powerful PA shot seems is. If you want to learn my entire New Orleans Saints offensive ebook, make sure to become a Patreon member today. It's only $10 to become a Patreon member, and it's going to get you access to all of our Madden 23 offensive and defensive ebooks. So head down to the description below and go check out the Patreon page.